Okay. What? 40. 40? Forty. Yeah. Oh, oh this, yeah. 40. This is a woman's bedroom. And today I will be talking about compulsive courting, what it is, and the types of courting. Mm -hmm. Compulsive courting is an excessive collecting of possessions. A hoarder fails to use or discard all these items, where even if these items are worthless, hazardous, or unsanitary. Compulsive courting interferes with basic activities. Like, you can't walk around in here, you can't sleep, you can't eat in here. So, um, it includes cooking, cleaning, showering, and sleeping. A person who engages in compulsive hoarding is commonly said to be a pack rat. Um, there are approximately 2 million hoarders living in America. Um, um, according to Dr. Sayana, uh, the director of obsessive compulsive disorders at the University of California, San Diego, compulsive hoarding in its worst forms can cause fires and unclean conditions. For example, like rat and roach infestation. Like in this bathroom? You can't use the bathroom, you can't shower, you can't Ew. do anything. Um, it is not clear whether compulsive courting is a condition itself or rather a symptom of other related conditions. There are different types of hoarding. This one's animal hoarding. What is animal hoarding? Animal hoarding keep, it involves keeping larger than usual number of animal pets without having the ability to care for them. This one's a woman who had too many cats. And this is a woman who had um, cats and dogs, and she had too many, and th this is like their droppings and all that. And mm -hmm. After they cleaned her house, they found dead animals under all the stuff, mm -hmm. and like babies and stuff. Um, hoarders are deeply attached to their pets and find it extremely difficult to let go. Um, hoarders tend to believe that they provide the right amount of care for their pets. The American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals provides a hoarding prevention team, which works with hoarders to help them maintain manageable and healthy number of pets. There's another type of um, hoarding, which is book hoarding. And book hoarding is a hoarding of books to the point where social relations or health are damaged. <laughs> Collecting of books which have no use to the collector or any great value. This man just collected books to collect them. Um, some, he had some of the same books, same volumes, um, and those are usually symptoms of a book hoarder. The most famous book hoarder is Stephen Carey from, from Iowa. From 1974 to 1990, um, he, he went to 185 universities and stole over 28,000 books. None of these books were bought. Um, the FBI finally raided his home, and um, they arrested him for stealing all these books, and he served 4.5 years in prison. And today I talked about hoarding and what it was and the different types of it. Thank you. 
Monique, I think the audience survey is a little bit awkward. I thought the visual the image that you used for your attention device was much better and it clearly identifies what the topic is and we've got a dramatic way of getting connected to it. You rushed through that opening statement about what your thesis is and what your point is. I think you need a lot more justification on this. Although it did sound like you had some statistic about the number of people who are involved in hoarding, I think uh, you could also talk about some. You mentioned vaguely some of the problems that go along with it. Uh, and I think that that's a place where you could add some examples. You had the one with the animal hoarder in your illustration. I thought that that was okay. Um, the first part is all definitional kind of stuff, and I thought that that was pretty, pretty good, but we don't really get any explanation of what uh, these compulsions are and uh, why they manifest themselves in some people and not others, and it just seems very thin. It's, I, I, it's like <coughs> I'm competing, and, you know, the, the voices are distracting me. See? That's a wrong number. That's my phone. Everybody knows not to call me. It's just a rule. Um, the uh, I like the visuals that you had. You use them mostly to organize and kind of uh, get us. That, I mean, that's the one place where you're creating some interest in the subject. You had a good story about the one guy who is the book hoarder, and I think that you needed to give us a little bit more detail on that. The same thing about the animal horse. It just it it seems very sketchy. It's three minutes and twenty seconds. So there's not a lot of content here. There's not enough analysis. There's not enough uh, explanation of the stories. And you're, you're same thing that I've mentioned to a couple of other people today. We're going through the mechanical process on this. And I think that that's not getting us uh, as effective a presentation as we want. Um, you, need, you need to find a way to bring this a little bit more to life. And this is, a, this is a dramatic kind of behavior that people could probably see or identify with, uh, know somebody who has problems like this, hope, hopefully not as bad as some of these people. But uh, I was having a little bit of trouble with the one picture you showed of the guy with all the books. I'm going, well, how's that interfering with his life? It looks like he's got it well organized. He's got a nice library there. I was, in fact, a little bit jealous, you know, about the way it's set up and all those kinds of things. And suddenly it makes me think I'm a hoarder. You know, because I got all these movies and such, and I'm going, oh, I must be a movie hoarder. Of course, I'm not stealing stuff. All right. Yeah, so 